Hi, welcome to another session of Paraguide video tutorial. As a part of our Microsoft Dynamics CRM training series, today we will learn how to upgrade your on-premise deployment of CRM 2016 into Dynamics 365 on-premise. Before we begin, let us try to understand what is Dynamics 365. Dynamics 365 unifies CRM and ERP capabilities into applications that work seamlessly together across sales, customer service, field service, operations, financials and project service automations. As the name suggests, it is no longer known as CRM like the other older versions of MSCRM. It is just known as Dynamics 365. There is no separate deployment of Dynamics 365 like the older versions of CRM like 2013, 2015 or 2016. So the question is how to get Dynamics 365. In order to have Dynamics 365, you need to download and apply the December 2016 service spec for Microsoft Dynamics 365 on your existing CRM 2016 on-premise deployment. Thus, CRM 2016 is your prerequisite in order to get Dynamics 365. Let's start with the upgrade procedure. The first thing we will require is an existing on-premise deployment of CRM 2016. Let us have a look at our existing 2016 on-premise CRM deployment. As you can see, this is our existing 2016 on-premise CRM deployment. Let us have a look at the version. As you can see, the version starts with 8.0, which means it is CRM 2016. Now the next step is to upgrade it. In order to upgrade it, we will need to log in to the server where CRM 2016 is deployed. Let us remotely log into our CRM server. As you can see, currently we are logged into our CRM server where the CRM 2016 application is deployed. Once you are remotely logged into the CRM server, you need to go to the Windows update. You can go to Windows Update by searching Windows Update. Now inside the Windows Update, you can see the list of updates which are available to be installed. Here at the bottom you will see Microsoft Dynamics 365 Server Update 2. Here we will select only CRM, I mean Dynamics 365 Server Update 2, and we can proceed with the installation. As you can see, that Windows will prepare itself to install the update which we have selected. We will have to wait until Windows is ready to update the Dynamics 365 server update which we have selected. The update will automatically launch 
the Microsoft Dynamics 365 server update wizard. Let's <coughs> proceed with the wizard by clicking next. We need to accept the license agreement and proceed with the next. We are ready to proceed with the installation of our update to Dynamics 365 from our Windows, sorry, CRM Server 2016. Let's proceed. The update wizard will automatically install all the required components which is part of this upgrade required for Dynamics 365. We will wait till the wizard completes the installation of all the required components. Ideally this would have taken quite a lot of time but for the purpose of this video we have skipped the installation bit and this is the final step after the installation is completed successfully. So we can just click on finish. Now to check whether we have successfully installed it or not we need to go and check the version of our same CRM organization. If we log in to the same URL which we had used earlier to check the version of MS CRM 2016 now in the same URL you can see that it shows Dynamics 365. So we can say that it has been successfully upgraded our last deployment of 2016 it has been successfully upgraded to Dynamics 365. Again to confirm it we can check the version of current deployment if you remember the older version was 8.0 which represents CRM 2016 and as you can see the current version has been changed to 8.2 so here you go your deployment is now successfully converted or upgraded into Dynamics 365 let us check some of the changes in the UI before we conclude this session. As you can see that instead of your old menus like sales, marketing, service, here you will see Dynamics 365 instead of your home menu. Post that if you click on any of this menu you would see the same sales, service, marketing and setting sub menus inside your Dynamics 365 organization. The same way you can browse to any of the entities in order to access them. So that's all from the upgrade video of Dynamics 365. In the next video we will proceed further on how to take our Dynamics 365 on-premise deployment to Dynamics 365 online. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching this video.